Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar has spoken exclusively with India today on Navy's daring high sea rescue off the, sof, off the coast of Somalia. Listen in. Sir, how was, uh, you know, the Marcos, the uh, commanders from Navy able to execute this operation uh, as swiftly as possible? First of all, the INS Chennai was about 450 odd nautical miles away from the, the vessel, was diverted to go to head for the vessel at full speed. So that was the first act action. And uh, immediately uh, after that, we launched the PHI to go on task to uh, locate the vessel, you know, speak to the crew and find out what is the actual situation on the ground. So, as the parrot attack was, uh, there were shots were fired, uh, apparently as per the information of the uh, crew. They, uh, they saw some boats approaching and the shots being fired, so they ran into the uh, citadel or what they call the safe house and locked themselves inside that. So, um, uh, 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 the capability of such a safe house is that you can remain inside for perhaps 24 to 48 hours and by which time a ship or somebody will come to help you or rescue you. So they had uh, put themselves inside uh, and they told us that 21 crew, 20 crew are inside and one is outside and uh, we were attacked by pirates. We do not know the condition where all they are, you know, all those information was relayed. So they were assured that the uh, naval ship is heading for you and they were also told to alter the course in such a way that they can close towards the, uh, the uh, naval ship Chennai. So they had altered the course by about 20 degrees so that they are also on a closing course. So uh, in the meantime, INS Chennai was closing at, uh, at good speed. And by next day, around uh, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 1400 to 1430, uh, she affected RV with the uh, ship. Uh, with uh, uh, MV Leela, Norfolk, and uh, then uh, simultaneously they are already prepared for the operation. So we had a Sea Guardian giving you know live coverage from the air, and also relaying all this information to the IFC IOR mm -hmm. uh, at Gurugram. Then uh, a helicopter was launched to give aerial cover uh, for you know air support uh, from the uh, in close proximity, uh, and the Marine commanders were launched from the ship by boat. So uh, at this point, it was not known whether it is, you know, how many pirates are there. Approximate number was known about five to six pirates mm -hmm. were around. And whether they're still there, not there, whether they put any explosives, IEDs, you know, etc. nothing was known. So they had to really, you know, board, prepare for a, uh, for a um, uh, armed, armed intervention uh, and uh, expecting, uh, uh, you know, some sort of uh, resistance from the ship. Uh, but they boarded and it was uneventful. They boarded, then they started sanitizing the ship from the top to bottom for uh, explosives, for uh, the pirates, etc. So fortunately, they were able to make out that there was nothing there at that point of time. Then they rescued the crew and they also rescued that one crew member who was hiding somewhere else. So all 21 crew were rescued, 15 Indians and the rest uh, Filipinos. And uh, then they did once more a complete uh, thorough sanitization of the ship from top to bottom and establish the, that the absence of the crew. So it is most likely that these after boarding they realize that you know they do not have the wherewithal either to breach the citadel or they realize that they are going to get into trouble because the, uh, the naval, uh, Indian naval ship is coming and uh, we are monitoring them by the PHI and so on. So it is quite possible that they disembarked at night or early hours of the morning and you know moved out.